That's right, folks. It's the Vagrants Valet, and today we are out on the streets helping out our homeless brothers and sisters with rides and a kind word wherever we may find them. Hey, and if you dig the cut of my jib, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And of course, leave me a comment because I want to know what you have to say. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to work. Hey, man, you want to ride? You want to get out of the weather? I'll give you a lift. Uh, uh, fine. Thanks. It, it's free. Are you sure? Your toes look like they're getting a little soggy, man. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, oh, well, well, hop on in. You may as well, huh? All right, come on. Yeah. Okay, get, get, you, get you where you need to be here. Right, get, get out of the weather for a second. Yeah, I can be in the ride. Why not? Yeah, hey. Douglas, I'm Zook. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm All wonderful. Right. Cool. I was just out, out cruising around here a little bit. I hate to see people walking out in the rain, getting all soggy and everything. I hear you. Yeah, I mean, a long night. I had a terrible night. What's what's going on? Oh, I lost my... I had two sleeping bags, you know, I real nice. <laughs> had two big, thick blankets, and then uh, I had another small blanket that I was... I kind of... I had a nice little pad I was keeping warm, you know. Did you have a tent or anything? No, I had it down, stashed down in one of the outside outside of town places and, and somebody took it oh you got ripped off <laughs> i took my oh, son that sucks. I, oh man right when i i was just coming up you know I was like, it seems like it's kind of backwards but, you know. yeah did you, did you eat lunch can i buy you a sandwich or oh sure yeah right on you want to uh, sure yeah you go through mcdonald's or something you hungry yeah that's cool i'll, I'll, get, yeah, I'll, that's, get, I'll get you something to eat i gotta I got a little quarter pounder or whatever here. Right on, right on. What do you do? Uh, I'm a uh, retired art teacher. Oh yeah, yeah. If you, if you can if you can believe that, so high school uh, level. Well, yeah, I did teach some high school, but I um, I also taught uh, grade school. That's that's when I was having all the fun in grade school. Yeah, yeah right on, right on. Right on. But but it's like on the hierarchy of teachers. Our, our art teacher is usually, you know, at the bottom of the rung there. You know, it's the uh, the, 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 the the math and the science teachers and all that better, kind of thing. I better put this on, you know. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, Do you have a little cool. artistic flair? Were you any good as, as a uh, kid? I was very good at it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a I'm a uh, all different kinds. I'm a uh, I'm a writer. Yeah. And I draw. And, you know, I can. Uh, I'm a writer and I draw, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, everything. I draw for, uh, I draw like, uh, musical art kind of stuff. I'm like, uh, oh, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. What, what kind of, what kind of writing did you like Shakespeare and all that? I, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm writing, I was writing uh, music for a while and then I was, I, I, I made a couple albums. Oh yeah? yeah. What what kind of music? Rock. Yeah. Rock music. Yeah. Not... What what are you are you like Guns and Roses and ACDC? Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah right on. Van Halen. Oh yeah. Aerosmith. Can you can, can you jam like Eddie? Are you any good on the guitar? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I had a lot of you know, I had a lot of I had a I had an upbringing there a little bit when I was young. So. What are your parents? You come from a musical family or? Couple sisters. Um, I came from a different family. I came from a uh, came from a, a, a kind of a displaced family. I had two girls with me. We were young, way back. We, were, we grew up out in the country, and then we moved into here. Whoa, where in Indiana? Yeah, yeah. We what, grew up, what what part? Uh, towards Ellisville. Oh yeah, Ellisville. They get rowdy over there, don't they? On Friday nights, they get they get to drinking the whiskey and hooting and hollering. Yeah, it's a little different there. How about the cops? Are the car cops real hard on people? No. Everybody's pretty mellow? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that's good. Yeah, so I kind of, I, I just kind of fell behind. I got a little older, so I fell behind. So well, you know, you don't want to rush into anything. It's all right. You look like a young enough guy. You got plenty of time. Yeah. They say Colonel Sanders didn't start till he was 70, so. <laughs> that's, that, that, right. that, that's what my uncle always used to say. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind of, I was, I got, I've been busy, I've been doing some upkeep, you know, trying to, uh, you know, up to date, uh, this 
kind of keep it busy going. And then, um, were you were you living? Were you staying out sleeping outside when it was bitter cold last week? When it was yeah. minus five. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've been staying up and I've been sleeping outside for a long time. I can't get I can't get any help down out there. So. Were you? I mean, when it was that cold, I mean, did you was did you like? Were you able to sleep, or was it so cold yeah, it was miserable? I had a no. I was fine. I had I had a, a big thick quilt. I had one of the big uh, uh, insulated blankets. I was really all right. Here, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll pull through McDonald's here. What what can I get for uh, you? Will you be using the little ball app today? No, that's a little too technical for me. Thank you. Okay. Well, I, I get you. Uh, yeah, I, I get confused easy. I just turn. Uh, I just turn. I, I just turn fifty-five. Um. Well, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> Oh, you, okay, yeah, I think you're just saying that. I'm just teasing. Um, what, what, what do you, can I get you? Uh, I'll have a large diet of Pepsi or Coke, whatever you have. Pepsi, preferably. We have it, Coke. Is that okay? Barely. I'm just teasing. Coke's fine. <laughs> um, what can I get for you? Uh, how about a... Uh, how about Happy a, late a, birthday, by the way. Oh, well, God bless your heart. How about a triple cheeseburger and a small <laughs> fry? A triple cheeseburger, a small fry. You want something to drink? Large, uh, large Coke. Large Coke too. Yeah. How about that? Coca Cola. Okay. Okay, fantastic. All right, give me one second. All right, does everything look correct on the screen today? Uh, uh. Well, well you're not charging us for the triple cheeseburger. No. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, look at this. Yeah. Look at this. There's, there's, it's, it's, it, the good news just keeps getting better. Okay, okay, everything looks perfect. All right, I'll see you at the window. What's your name, please? Jamie. Jamie, all right, I'm looking forward to it. Well, look at that. They didn't charge us for the triple cheeseburger yeah. or the Coke there. Yeah, uh, the good news just keeps good, getting better. Definitely, definitely. I, I think the big boy upstairs might be looking out for us. Thank Hi, you, Jamie. Thank you, I'm outstanding. This is my new friend here. Huh? This is my new friend. Hi. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, Jim. Hey, no, All right. Then. Things been busy around here? Hi, I'll be right with you. No. No? Not at all. Huh. Well, the, fo the food's so good. Oh, I know. Have a great day, you guys. Hey, thank you, Jamie. You're welcome. We'll be back. We'll be back. Hey. We, we love this place, right? Hey. You married? Got kids? No, no, I have I have one kid, me. <laughs> Single guy, huh? Single guy, huh? Yeah, uh, not too bad. Uh, how about you? Do you have a have you ever uh, been married? Yeah, I had a rocky had a rocky marriage. What was it, the mother in law always getting in on your business and all that? I didn't know what the heck was happening. I had some you know, I had some <coughs> had some uh different you know, which guys, Mark guys. Okay, that one's for you here. Okay, got a couple straws here. Look at this. Okay, what the mother-in-law was always getting in the middle of everything? No, I had some. They were old friends, you know. They were dating back, you know. Local got local people that kind of you know had some troubles, maybe or something. Uh, not not exactly have troubles, you know. They were just uh, they were just falling behind. You know, not the, oh, there's a lot of that going around, yeah. Yeah, I think they're from different parts of the world. Uh, were they hillbillies? Uh, you know what I mean? They were like, from different parts of the world. They're from uh, India. <laughs> I remember Brandon. Oh. Hey, we're just waiting on everything. If you can, just pull around the front. We can bring it out. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So how long were you married? I didn't know where they were from. I didn't know who it was. And then, you know, they kind of, uh, back in 2000, and I hooked up with it. Hooked up with this young. Hooked up with this young one. Uh, it's a good friend and stuff. And then they. And uh, about two years, I made it. We moved to Bedford. <laughs> All places, man. With the second wife? <clears throat> no, my first wife. And she was from India? I, I no, I don't know where she was from. I left her alone about it. You know, I didn't ask. I didn't push. And I didn't push. I didn't know who it was. You know, I was like. Was well, like, did she speak English? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was certainly, yeah. She was just, uh, like, 
I'm kind of moving all kind of quick or something. Uh, different, different people to talk to. I went uh, the friend thing, you know. Okay, I, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, I just kind of, I kind of, I'm careful, and I didn't know, and I thought it was. Oh, where'd you meet her? Um, down at the uh, community center down over there. The right? Shalom Center. Exactly. Yeah, it used to be down. It used to be downtown at the church, and then they they used to it's somewhere somewhere on Walnut Street now. Yeah. And then uh, goes, and then they moved it up to the church back over there where it originally was. It's kind of it kind of went back and forth, back and forth there. So did you have like a big wedding and all that? No, we had a we went to the Justice of the Peace at the uh, government. We just kind of did it. Real oh quick. yeah, you didn't have like the big rowdy rowdy wedding with all the drunk yeah, yeah, friends yeah, throwing yeah. up on the throwing up all over the yeah. sidewalk and everything and the really, yeah the uh, plastered best man giving some slur in a speech. None of that. He kind of asked me out, you know. She said, you know, I was. She said, you want to go get something to eat or something? I was like, yeah, why not? I'm willing to. I said, I kind of see what's happening. I said, you want to slow down, ain't you? Huh. So, we kind of, I, I kind of left him alone. I was being careful. I was, and how, I, how long ago was this? Be careful. I was in 20 years ago. 20 years ago, wow. 22 years you, ago. You've been on the street that long? Yeah. yeah. You've been on the street for 20 years? I was on the street 10 years before that, too. What What were you doing in between? You were, were, Nothing. You, I was going through the... Uh, yeah, dumpster diving, you know. I'm not. I'm Have you ever been in the joint? You ever, no. you never been in trouble? Well, good for you. No, no, I stay clean. I like, I just, I was trying to keep myself looking busy. I was just like, I go and I try to find, you know, I'll probably find the things that are thrown away. I can find a few dollars. And... Well, a lot of the fraternities, they when when they when the kids move out, they fill those dumpsters full of all kinds of goodies. Yeah. What's like the best thing you ever found? Yeah. Um. Money, yeah, uh, just eighty bucks, you know. Eighty, yeah, I found four twenty, you know. <laughs> in the dumpster, you know. I'm like, I found it, you know. I'm like, I was like sifting through there. I find it a birthday card, or something, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Christmas cards. How about like scrap metal and stuff like that? Cause there copper in there you can get. Yeah, slow down here. Because uh, really, because the metal's not worth it. I don't think as much as it was. Really slowed down. Uh, number, I know what you're talking about. I've done it before. Uh, the aluminum cans used to be metal, and that used to. Be, uh, over here we got uh, short. Uh, we got short iron, uh, short iron, and long iron. Is what they call. Is how they. Is how they put it in the category. Huh? Yeah, How'd you learn all this? Uh, yeah. This over at. Uh, there was. Uh, there was. Just, there was. Uh, the. Uh, oh, what's the name of the place? The scrap yard. No, okay. All over there, it was that J and K there. Something like that. Yeah, there's another one too somewhere. And then they give you a list. They, they take old batteries, uh, car batteries. Um, number one copper, number two copper. You know, and stuff like that. Short iron, long iron, copper, aluminum, scrap aluminum. Mm -hmm. and, and they put it on the they put it on the big scale. They just. Like you put it, you just kind of go up there and throw it on the scale. And they like, now, do they give you the cash or do they like yeah. try and hand you a check? Yeah. They like give cash. you cash. Okay, that's it. Yeah, you can spend it going yeah. out the door. You know, I, I drink Diet Pepsi like crazy, so I figured I'd save Diet Pepsi cans all summer all right. and then get a bunch of money for all my Diet Pepsi cans. So I crushed them. Uh, uh, yeah, triple cheeseburger and fries. Yep. All right, thank you. Right there you go. Cool. Ding, ding. Thanks a lot. Thank you. The pleasure's mine. Thank you. Thank you. And and don't for, and you know I've been to McDonald's. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, uh, what's your name again, please? Douglas. Douglas. That's right, Douglas. Yeah, that's um, cool. That's all right. I mean, uh, I, I've been to McDonald's a million times. Well, maybe not a million times. I've been there a hundred thousand times, and I've never had them give me something free before and they gave us the drink for free and the the triple cheeseburger for free you're kidding i'm not kidding at all and i and i even mentioned on the screen i said hey you didn't charge it she said i know so like i said i think i think the big boy upstairs you know who i'm talking yeah, about they, i think he's looking out for us on they, this trip they've given me a couple of free things they, i i just go in there uh well, i was 16 they were, they would come up and they would say, the meal's on us. Yeah. Yeah. They would, they would, they would like, they would say, you know, they would, uh, they would say, we're running behind. We're bringing it out to your table. Or if you just want to go ahead and have a seat at, the, you know, any table, 
we'll bring it out to you as soon as we can get there. We're kind of busy. They didn't give it to me. And then they give me another one. I'm like, wow, yeah, that's cool. McDonald's is good. A lot of them do. Yeah, there's yeah, plenty, plenty, plenty of great people. Plenty White great Castles, people. Hardee's, you know. Oh, White uh, Castle. I like White Castle. Yeah. What, uh, you know, you can always sleep at the Wheeler Mission Inn there. You ever sleep over there? No, it used to be Backstreet. It used to be Backstreet Mission. Yeah, right over here on Westplex? Yeah. But you never go over there? I stayed there. There was a guy named Dana. What, he ran the place? His name was Dana. He was kind of a conservative guy. What, did he run the place like Stalin ran Russia, or? Oh, my God. Yeah, something. He was kind of conservative, and there was just too much. There was just too much friction there, so. Well, you know, we're getting along with him. No. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, it seems like there was, it seems like there was a little too much, you know, friction there. Too much, you know, uh, too many people, too many opinions being thrown around. Yeah, that I don't think he was a bad dude or something, you know. I don't really know the guy. But I think he had too many. I think he might have had too much going on. People have too much going on, you know. Well, I, he, I mean, you just got to face the fact, you know. Well, things. sometimes, yeah. I mean, he probably he probably couldn't take all the pressure. Yeah. I mean, because he had, you know, everybody coming up to him. Probably everybody was kind of, you know, wanted this or that or whatever. I see it. As, I see it as a fact. Yeah, no, I bet nobody ever showed up with a pumpkin pie for him. That's for sure. I see it as a fact. I see, you know, those fact. I see, you know, those people that are from over on the other side of the world, they have a million opinions, man, that are fuck heavy, dude. I mean, they got so many different people out there, you know, that they're, they're, there's a culture clash, dude, you know, totally. And they, have, they have things going on, dude, and they have a lot going on. Uh, uh, an upset, you know, they don't, they don't. They don't live in the, they live in the standard. They, they live on, they don't live on a lot. Well, have you ever been overseas? You ever been to Europe or anywhere? Yeah, I have. Where have you been? A lot of places. What was your favorite? Uh, Asia. Yeah? Asia was beautiful. Well, what part? Actually, uh, actually the, uh, where the Great Wall of China is. Yeah? yeah. How was the food? It's beautiful. Well, uh, this was long ago, mm -hmm. way back. Okay, when I went there. When I went to Asia, the, the place where the Great Wall is. At the um, at the beginning, is uh, at the beginning is a is a very a very beautiful place. I've been to Asia. I went there. It was, um, I think Lake View is where it is. Is the name of it. Uh, the Great Wall of China is a hundred and ninety miles. They're quite a yeah, you, 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 you can't walk that one in a day. Yeah. Um, beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful places there. Uh, it has a beautiful ground there. Uh, Did you fly into Beijing? or? Uh, um, I went to uh, a lot of places. I was in Hong Kong. I was in... Uh, I can't name them all. I, I, went, I went a lot of places there. Were people pretty cool to Americans? I went to Africa. I went to Africa. Yeah? Yeah. Well, was you going to safari? Everywhere. No, I was just visiting, man. Totally. I was running. I was being careful, you know. That was way back before, that was way back before Americanism, man. Oh. It was back before Americanism kind of got, that, it's not really like that. It, there's just some of it now. Were the people pretty cool to you, or, uh, or did they look askance? Yeah, they were or? Different. yeah, they were real different towards me. Hmm. Yeah, they would come up and, they would come up to me in, in big groups, you know. Villagers, they were standing there, you know, look at me, and they were going, then they would turn around and walk away, you know. That's crazy, dude. Huh. I was a, a pilot. I actually, am a pilot. I have. I built, oh. I built my own plane. What? How'd you? What'd you make it out of? Uh, iron, uh, steel, uh, steel. Uh, and car uh, made a long time ago. Well, Howard Howard Hughes made the spruce goose, but that was out of that was out of wood. Yeah. What did, what did, the thing you made was it, was it airworthy? Yeah, I built a big uh, four. Uh, I built a big four uh, rotor. Four engine. 
Yeah, four. Yeah, the rotary engine. Big C-130, like that military unit. Uh. The back comes down. The big one. The back goes right It's huge, man. I mean, you can fit. You can fit. You got to you know, Ten cars in the back of it. It's that big. Did you need a co-pilot, or was it just you? Uh, no, it was just me. Hmm. Just me. Do you have a parachute? I'd want a parachute. Yeah, I have parachutes, <laughs> man. Yeah, I definitely kept parachutes around. Yeah. I kept them around. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, I don't need any luggage. I think I'll just uh, put this parachute on my back just in case. I was really different. I had a messed up life. Um, well, how'd you get into aviation? On my own. Yeah? In the beginning, when I was young, very young boy. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Life was complicated. Well, what was the most complicated part of it? My mother and father weren't here. Hmm. I was a child, baby. I didn't have a mother or father. Oh, jeez. Well, I who woke up. I woke up and I was out in the middle of nowhere out here. And my, I woke up my mom was there. My, my father wasn't standing there to hug me and take care of me. So who, who raised you? I did. Uh -huh. Yeah, I raised myself. I was in there doing push-ups when I was a baby. Hmm. Little baby. I was in there <laughs> so I could walk. I didn't know. I was not afraid. I was scared. Yeah. You know, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I gotta walk. You know, I, gotta, I gotta get up somehow. And well, well up, look, you, you turned out fine. I grew up quickly. I grew up very fast. I grew up right from that, right from the first day. I was a full-grown man. I was like craziest baby ever seen. I went down to uh, southern Indiana to Madison. Madison, okay, yeah. Yeah, I went The to, bridges of Madison County. Okay, there you go. I went to Madison down there and then I uh, uh, did, I did my, uh, I did some, I, I built some building there. I built a couple of airplanes. And built a couple of airplanes, built some cars trucks what, what kind of cars did you build hot rods uh, i built some uh you know regular cars i built a couple of trucks uh, pickup trucks uh i built uh, cars built a motorcycle hmm. built a boat built some boats i was down uh, I was totally crazy i was making iron ore back then hot job Hot job. Hmm. Well, do you want where are you? Do you want me to drop you off at the library, maybe, or I do kind of have to get heading home. Yeah, maybe. Um, maybe you could take me up, uh, like down to. Uh, do you know where? Uh, make a left at the light right there. Okay. I'll be delighted to wherever you want to go. I'll take you, Doug, wherever you want to go. Right on. Right on. So what did you do with these, with the boats and the airplanes once you made them? Did you sell them or? No, I got them. Oh. Put them in a farm. I you know, was just there. And I think I left here. These are the two mains. So and where, so do you, do you still have them or? You don't know. These are the two mains. This okay. is, this is Walnut. Ah, I see. And it runs north and it always runs south. Okay. Well, I'd say that's easy to remember. You can find your way there. Yeah. yeah. Things fell behind. Everything slowed down. There used to be with, with the air, with the airplane, you mean? No, no, no. Things here slowed down. A lot of things slowed down here. There was some big slowdowns. A lot more things these days. People don't. Some of those, some of those folks, some of those folks don't really live like that. It's really, really tedious. It's very good. Well, are there a lot of people living on the streets, would you say? There was. Yeah. Uh, there was enough. There wasn't a lot. There was enough. How's the triple cheeseburger there? Good. Hey, don't thank me for it. Thank the big boy upstairs. because. Yeah. And the lady at McDonald's somehow didn't charge us for it and knew she wasn't charging us for it. Yeah, it's so. good. Good help. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it helps. Holy hell. McDonald's. I like McDonald's. So what, um, 
Were you on you were on the streets then for the holidays, man? Oh yeah. Yeah, I walk up and down to here all the time. Walk through here every morning. Well, I will look for me, Doug. I'll sounds like you got yourself squared away. I mean in terms of I mean you got a good set of boots or your feet feet warm enough. And you got a decent sleeping bag. It's not gonna it's not gonna be real bitter cold anymore. I think the cold is pretty much over but the next time it gets cold why don't you just go to the yeah. shalom center for the night or yeah. or, or one of the because being when it's my when it's that cold outside it's dangerous sleeping i go down there every night i go down there every morning you know to the shalom center uh -huh. what do they feed you yeah I, uh, i'll go there every morning do you get bacon and eggs or is it most of the time it's all meal mm. Most of the time it's open. Are we going in the right direction? Where? Yeah. Uh, I'll slide down over here where uh, there used to be a steak and shake. It's not very tall. Okay. It's, there's an old steak and shake down there. And I was going to jump out right there. It's a, near the, not too far, man. It's simple. It only takes five minutes to get from one side to the other in a car. You know, yeah. ten minutes. It's not like them other places. I'm not, it's pretty easy. Well, walking's fine when it's not rainy, but when it gets rainy and you get wet and everything, it's, that makes it tougher. Yeah. What do you do for fun? You ever have any fun around here? You ever make it into a basketball game or something like that? Well, I saw my young friends. They kind of scattered on me. My friends did. Mm -hmm. I had some friends I was running with. We were partying, man. We were doing good. We were drinking whiskey and drinking at home. Hooting, hooting and hollering? Yeah, we were drinking whiskey and just throwing up the joint. You know, not the bad heavy. Open a lot of cigarettes. You know? <laughs> We'd ride around all night on Friday night, Saturday night. We would cruise around together and stuff. We'd be in the car. You know? Right uh, over here? Yeah, right. right there's the old steak and shake. You can take a left up there. I'll just jump out there. Okay. Um, thanks a lot. Well, hey. It's incredible. It's at least I, I could, like least I could I do. I, I don't like seeing people walking in the rain and getting their getting their getting their socks all soggy, so to speak. Yeah, it's, yeah I, I, I had to dry off last night. I got it. And I found a heater and uh, one of those thermostat heater where I put my shoes and socks on and dry it off. Comes up all night and crazy. Well it's only gonna get down to about 40 degrees tonight so even if you're outside Doug I think you I think you'll be okay. What do you sleep over here and then is there a sp spot out of the weather here? Just an empty or something. Okay. Whoa sorry about that. It's all right. uh, does this look good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I try to find a place down over here and just kind of get out of the way, you know, that's what I mm -hmm. do. Man, I appreciate it. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thanks a lot. Well, it's... Somebody um, gave me another sleeping bag, so... Okay, well, when you see me out on the streets, then give me a wave, and if I can help you out, I will. Is that fair enough? Yeah, I'm trying to think of your name. It was Zook. Zook, okay. Yeah. Right on, right on. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm always the same, and I'm around town, so... Wow. You see me? You see me take your drink, get your straw and everything? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I'm, a, me, I'm, a, I'm trying to get back home. Uh, home was a. Uh, I used to I used to live overseas. I went to Europe and everything. Yeah. Africa. I went to Asia. I've been all over South America. Well, you're you're very worldly. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to land. I used to take that big C-130. I was crazy as a kid. You ever seen? I was. A, you, know, you have the goggles and the scarf and everything, like this, like the swashbuckling uh, airman. I was standing in it. <laughs> standing. Right. I was standing in there. Right. That, I was standing there, moving that joy, and then I would. Uh, I, they got kick. They got uh, they the got, rudders. Yeah, you got kickers. Mm -hmm. They got kick kick paddles down there, and you move them like that, and the uh, the the the. the, the the jumbo industry has the same thing, but now they now they got them. They got them a little more electronic, where they just you know, oh. 
Well, they don't have to, they, they used to drive them with their feet and their hands. Now they just now they just now they just <laughs> hit buttons and it moves a form and stuff. It's cool. incredible. Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'll let you go. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah. Don't forget you gotta unbu unbuckle your seatbelt there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm gonna try to go to get some get some sleep and yeah, get some rest. Try tomorrow. Um, I think today's the weekend. Uh, it's Friday, I believe. Somebody said it was. But. Uh, well, it's yeah Wednesday. It's close enough. <clears throat> close enough for rock and roll, right? Somebody said. <laughs> hey, when you're young, wild, and free, what is somebody, it? What day? Yeah. The day of the week doesn't make any difference. Why get bogged yeah. down in details? Somebody, somebody down there said it was Friday, and I'm going. I don't even know what day it is. Well, you I always you get a one in seven chance of getting it right. Crazy, crazy. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Right on, right on. You, you, keep, you, you keep, keep rocking. Careful. Yeah, yeah. One more. My foot kind of fell asleep. I'm gonna slow down here. Okay, Douglas. All right, there you go. Luke, I got it. Okay, buddy. All right, be careful. All right, I'll see ya. Be extra careful. Thank Keep you. rocking. You betcha. All right. See ya. Well, how about that? Doug says he's been on the streets for 20 years, and you know what? I believe it. Now, the part about him flying C 130s. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know if he built any boats or cars or motorcycles, but hey, there's a guy that seems to have his homeless lifestyle figured out there, I guess. So we're rooting for Douglas and I have a feeling, I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing Douglas again when we're out and about helping homeless folks get around. Ding, ding.